Here continue with the part two. Posture number five is the low xi ao bu. First, I will turn the right toe a little bit. Step, push, stretch. Then relax and pull back. Okay, one more time up. Drop down and step out, breathing out as you push the right hand out. You feel the leg is stretched. Then you will pull back the left foot, switch right foot, push it out. Whatever involves a stepping, we need to remember we settle down first. And settle down for this posture, I'm thinking about the center gravity down to one foot first, for example, the right foot. I will from the outside the leg drop down. That gives me a stable feeling. And then push out. And once I pull back this foot, I also need to drop down center gravity. But when I pull back, I'm thinking about the inside, the leg, energy rebounding back up. So this is the, we call the feet, yin channel and the feet yang channel. The feet yang channel is from outside the leg. Doesn't matter in the front, the side or the back. We drop down, always concentrate to the outside of the leg. For this one, it benefits your liver, liver channel. Okay. When I down, I need to go through the gallbladder because the liver and the gallbladder is a pair, it's a yin yang pair in the meridian channel system. So, gallbladder channel is go down from the head, side of your, the corner of your eye. We go inside, we down. So this way, I can feel two flashing open. So when I step out, I push the power from the feet to the hand. I'm thinking about the inner leg. That is the liver channel go from the big toe, inner leg come up. So this is the release the anger or emotion out. I will turn around to push backward and return back and push the other hand. Then look at this. Huh? My ankle, the ankle is a turn. And each direction, I make a one step out and the return. Then step out, stretch. Then I will turn, rotate the ankle here. I will go forward push again. So this is the compact. We save your space. You can practice it in your office or any uh, living room, even fa uh, family room. You, you don't need a big space. So that's the way, that's why every day you can practice the, for five or 10 minutes. Okay. Posture number six. Follow the brush knee. We will needle down. Heidi Jin. One more time. 
put center gravity back and drop down and then you bending torso one hand go outside the knee front foot is lightly with the toe touch floor bending you feel the lower back is elongated stretched okay when we do this posture we call it Hai Di Zhen okay we want the first is a draw center body weight back and squat the back leg at the hip and you feel the energy is go through the back of the leg drop down that is the bladder channel it's from the head the inner uh, corner of the eye go through the the top or head go through the whole back and through the back of the leg drop down to the feet to the toes so that is a open the bladder channel through this uh, torso bending stretching the back and then you lift up and uh, the kidney channel is a pair with the, the bladder channel they are a pair yin yang pair okay the bladder is yang the kidney is yin channel feet yin channel so you can up and now turn the torso to the other side then you are bending use this leg pay attention back of the leg flow down and bending this bending stimulate your kidney and then you come up switch again to stimulate your kidney to open the kidney energy channel and the bladder channel okay posture number seven is the shan tong bi so from the bending you are up stretch big stretch this is shan tong bi like a open the fan, fan through the back then you will now pull this heel in and then turn the toe in shift weight back to the other side so this side stretching okay you can feel this posture is from the the foot leg through the center of the torso to the arm to the hand is the longest stretch one hand is on top balance one arm is a stretch okay this we call the open all the 12 meridian channel from the feet to the finger and the change the other side same big open if your body condition not allowed you to do big step you can just do it small that's okay important is your attention is relax relax and stretch extension contracting back and clean out the stress okay posture number eight now this one again is the whole body the 12 meridian channel okay we cut them uh, feet there are six channel and a hand there are six channel we cut it now uh, it's a kick but this kick is lightly you feel this uh, soft drop down and then the drop down give you a rebounding energy so you take a ride with that you lift up this foot this leg very light and even you like uh, open 
easy. So as long as you relax, this is more like a, like a ribbon, so soft. This is the best too. Let go, stress, gathering in good energy and flushing out the stress. That's we call the Deng Tui. This is the best actually um, to training your leg strength and the balance. So you will be able to hold the center gravity on one foot. Okay, and lift up without the wobbling feeling. Because this is lift up, this also can training your core, a strong core, give you the best opportunity for daily activity. So, they lift up now, you use the core energy to pull this leg up and the core extension out. So both sides is the same. Okay?